Well, state officials are speaking out tonight about their uncomfortable experiences at the airport recently. Some are claiming TSA agents went as far as leaving them sore in private areas. Fox 7's Camille Williams joins us live from the newsroom with the story. Camille? Loriana, remember the bill that would limit TSA searches at the airport? Well, it's been reincarnated in special session, and we've all seen these videos right here on YouTube of people claiming that TSA agents have inappropriately touched them. Well, now top Texas officials are claiming that they've been humil left humiliated and even left sore. Let me put this delicately. I, I was still feeling the effects of the pat down as I sat in my seat from New Orleans to Houston and then and then Houston to Austin. Barry Smitherman, chairman of the Public Utility Commission of Texas, was heading back home to Austin from New Orleans when he says he was ushered to the body scanner. He told the TSA agent he'd rather go through the metal detector. She said, well, you don't have that choice. And I said, okay, uh, I'm opting out. Those are the key words, right? So the TSA agent goes, opt out. Opt out. We got an opt out. You know, calling everyone's attention to me. Smitherman says it took roughly 40 minutes for the TSA agents to search through his carry on bag piece by piece and to give him a thorough pat down that he says was completely inappropriate. And finally, I said, You're punishing me for opting out, aren't you? And to her credit, she said, Yes, we are. State Representative Barbara Nash says she was upset after she was pulled aside for a pat down. She went, uh, made me move my legs apart, and she fell down my legs and up, all the way up. And then she made me stand a, little, a different way where she could go all the way up the front and then all the way up the back of my dress. You've got to have a reason to go to third base. House Representative David Simpson sponsors the anti-groping bill, House Bill 1937. It died in the Senate last session when the federal government came in and said they would have to cancel flights to and from Texas if the bill passed. Now he's hoping the governor will give it another shot this special session. This is a sexual assault in any other activity. Uh, if that happened right now, it would be sexual assault. Right here, someone was doing it. I mean, peace officers cannot do what they're getting away with. I would want my constituents to have to go through this, or children, or, or elderly people. This bill passed unanimously through the committee yesterday. The next step will be uh, to the House floor. Now, it will need, in order for it to pass, the governor will need to call for it. If it does pass, TSA agents could face a misdemeanor, which would carry a maximum sentence of $4,000 fine and up to a year in jail. Loriana, back to you.